I am actually so awkward. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Danielle from Vogue Bandwagon. And today we are going to be doing a brow tutorial. How to get benefit worthy brows. So obviously I'm using all benefit products today. Um, a few days ago, I filmed a whole tutorial um, on eyebrows and they turned out bomb, but then realized that the entire video was out of focus. So I was like, well, that sucks. And I went to bed. So we're going to try it again today, but this time I'm just not going to zoom you guys in as much as I did last time because I think that's why it was out of focus. So I'll try and zoom in as much as I can so that you guys can see. Um, and then I will also link down below all of the products that I use. These lights around me get so hot I had to dig out um, a summer sweater. Summer sweater, oh my god. I had to dig out a summer tank top because uh, I literally like sweat sitting here. But other news, let's get right on into it. Okay, so now that you are up close and personal for as much as I can get it without ruining this video, we can get started. So I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm a brow connoisseur, or like my brows are perfect, but um, this is how I like to do them. I will give you some tips on how I do my brows because I don't have like amazing full brows, which kind of sucks. And I find that this is my better brow, so we're going to do this one because uh, it always turns out better than that one. And um, I'm going to say that benefit has some damn good products that have helped me almost like effortless, effortlessly create a nice eyebrow. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is take a brow wand, like the mascara wand, and brush your hairs up. Then I'm going to go in with my precisely my brow benefit pencil. I am using the shade two. I do like my eyebrows a little, like I mean, I have pretty blonde hair and I used to have platinum blonde hair as you as you guys have seen and I like my eyebrows a little bit like darker than my hair. Um, so if that's my preference, totally up to you. Um, you're going to take your pencil and the first thing you're going to do is underline your eyebrows. So just in like small strokes you're going across your eyebrows, you're not going to like legit take this and draw a line. The best way to know where to start and where to end with your brows is um, line it up to the edge of your nose in with the corner of your eye and that's where your eyebrow should begin. As far as your eyebrow ending, I don't have a long tail, I always have to draw my tail on. You're going to go from your nose to the corner of your eye and you can make a little mark there and that's where your eyebrows are going to end. If you have anything like my eyebrows, there's going to be a lot of spots that are missing and that's why we're filling in our brows. Um, so like um, this eyebrow is a lot lower than that eyebrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, add a little bit more eyebrow on the top. Um, I'm also missing a little bit in here. So just draw those areas in. Um, how intense you want your arch is completely up to you, but um, I just go for something a little bit subtle. It's so weird because every time I'm drying all my eyebrows, um, I always think that I'm creating this like intense arch, and then I look at pictures and I'm like, it's, it's kind of subtle. So I like it that way. Okay, so once you've kind of done your outline, like underlining your brows, I did a little bit on the top. Um, I'm then going to go in with the Cabral by Benefit, and I have the shade 3. Um, it's like a creamy product, very easy to use, a little bit goes a long way. It comes with a brush like this, and then you can pop it in the lid, and it's easier to use. 
So you're going to take a little bit of this on a brush. You can always go back in if you need more. And start by underlining, following that line again that you drew. In little strokes again. And then you can blend it up. This product has got to be one of my favorites, and I only started using it a couple months ago. Um, and it's so easy to create a natural brow or an intense brow. Um, then you can line the top of your brows as well. Again, I have to create my wing, so I'm going to draw that line. I kind of have to bring it up more and then a straight line down. The higher you bring this point up, um, the more intense your eyebrows will look. And then you can go ahead and blend this down. Then I go in and I take a little bit more. Starting on the end, um, you can start to fill in your brows. So just all over. Being very soft on the inner part because we don't want to have cartoon eyebrows where it's just like a block. While this product is still a little bit wet, you can go back with your brow wand again and start by blending out Focus on blending out here um, the inside first because this is the part we don't want to look too harsh, we want it to be very soft and then just take your wand and brush it through the rest of your eyebrows. Just keep blending until um, you get it to where, how you want it to look. You just don't want it to look like you've painted on your eyebrows. Um, if you don't have a lot of eyebrows um, and you want to add a little bit more dimension to them, um, I use the Give Me Brow by Benefit in number three, and this is just like um, a volumizing gel that sets them in place as well. And I just put that over my brows. Focusing more on like the end of my brows, I don't really go too far in. Depending on how I'm feeling or what kind of makeup I'm doing for the day will really depend on whether I put my foundation before my brows or whether I do my brows before my foundation. For the purpose of this video, I did my brow brow first um, so that I can show you guys the option of cleaning them up. So I'll clean up this one first and then I will go ahead and do my other eyebrow. I'm a, a lunatic right now. But you can see the difference. Okay, so you're going to want to take either um, your favorite foundation or your favorite concealer and a brush with a flat tip. Um, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. And then I'm using the Sigma E15. It's a flat finer brush. Um, and this is where you can go ahead and clean up your eyebrows or shape them a little bit more. So take just a little bit on the tip of your brush and just make a nice clean line under your brows. This is a great step to do if you want to have a nice uh, straight line here.
there we go. That is one eyebrow done. I don't think it turned out as great as the last video I did, but yeah, it's like good and bad hair days. You have good eyebrow days and bad eyebrow days. Um, it's the best day ever when you have a good eyebrow day. But I'm going to go ahead and do this eyebrow and the rest of my makeup off camera, and I'll be right back. Alright, so makeup's done, brows are done, looking fly. My brows actually turned out good today, which is a huge plus because I was so afraid to do the tutorial and my brows would be all wonky. I honestly, for the life of me, I'm having so much trouble to make these two even look like sisters. They look like distant cousins. So. Today was a good day, <laughs> but um, anyways, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them below or connect to us on social media. Um, our social handle is at Folk Bandwagon, Folk Bandwagon, oh my god, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, at Folk Bandwagon, so chat with us there, um, and let us know what you thought. It was uh, a pleasure showing you how I... Um, Create these little caller caterpillars on my face. Until next time, guys, we will see you soon.